Anyone home? <laughs> oh yeah. The sausage has arrived. I'm in the vibration. This is incredible. So I'm out here in Utah and I just happened to stop off on the road because I saw this amazing landscape out here that just sprawls on. And uh, coming up here, I've realized that uh, this amazing place, this is volcanic deposition. Um, basically, it's called volcanic tuff. And it, um, uh, there was a period here in the Western US in the desert where volcanoes were constant. And uh, there's some evidence of that happening 600 years ago. There's more evidence happening around 1750 BC. And then there's an incredible event that takes place around 10,800, 10,900 BC called the Younger Dryas. And, um, Anyways, what we're looking at is ash that has fallen from a volcano that was extremely hot. It was ionized. The atoms were ionized, you know, turned into almost a nuclear level heat. And, um, no, I'm sorry, not almost, but beyond, like millions of degrees. And um, tens of thousands to millions. And the winds would have been blowing like a thousand miles an hour with these vortices, um, energy vortices caused by magnetic, you know, uh, disruption in the atmosphere. And this time I love thinking about and talking about the Younger Dryas is so crazy because there's a lot of theories whether uh, a comet caused it, whether the sun and its cycles cause this or if uh, a planet or a large body came within a proximity of the earth triggering the sun to release a C flare or an X flare of you know, catastrophic proportions basically ejecting hot plasma at the earth as it cools and turns to meteorites and rains down the earth causing all kinds of magnetic disruption you know in our atmosphere changing the bone structures of animals from large saber-toothed cats to woolly mammoths shrinking them down to the size we have today and that's all from a magnetic you know incursion uh, the the transformative um, power of electricity is yet to be fully realized by humanity, but that is the power of the universe. This is monstrosity, this place. It's bigger than any apartment complex. I think it's just huge. So beautiful. On top, it looks like dinosaur skin. And down here, it's just carved out and smoothed out, sanded down from the environment and whatnot. We're gonna do a trip around the front side. Yeah. Food, clothing, shelter, family, community, all the necessities. This tree right here is not that big, but its roots are incredible. From here, they come here. Oh, and they continue on all the way down and around the corner down there. <laughs> Amazing. 
second anaconda. Oh, these storms of the desert are amazing. One minute's 110 degrees and your skin is sizzling. The next minute a cool cloud covers you and you get dumped rain on. And then the sun comes back to dry you off. Reminds me of Hawaii, just hotter and drier. Look at these layers. This is what tuff does. Tuff gets deposited layer after layer from volcanic ash falling from the sky. And it made this entire thing I'm standing on, which is huge. This landscape lends itself to so much imagination, realization, um, contemplation. It's kind of like being inside your mind during a meditative state. You know, just contemplating away on the possibilities of what is. Here's my little family. They're coming. The most amazing thing to me is much of this land, I wonder how much of it has been hiked on and explored. A lot of people just fall to the tourist traps and they follow the trail and they go to the location and that's that. I like to go beyond that, Hit the back country, bushwhack, boulder dash, cliff hopping, whatever I gotta do. I wanna find a, I wanna find something new. Don't we all? This is so psychedelic. Vibrations, man. What's the vibe, y'all? It's the tribe, y'all. vibration. This is incredible. Oh, God. It's depositing. 